All right, so that's what we're working with. This was the issue here. Got a new crosser ordered. They were full of dirt and salt and stuff and just sitting there over the years. But, uh, yeah, then I'll, I'll guess while I got it off, I'll probably clean the frame up here a bit. Get rid of this rust. And uh, soak with undercoating again, put it back on. Clean that too, that looks nasty. I also went over the frame some more with the wire wheel, cleaning up little spots. And um, I'm going to give it another coat of rust converter. Alright, so I cleaned the, cleaned the frame up a little bit more and I'm just going over with some rust converter. I've used this before, it seems to work pretty good. It turns it from a, whatever, kind of a, somewhat still rusty after you sand it. You know, you can't get it perfect unless you're sandblasting it. But um, so it, it turns it from a little reddish silver to uh, black after. And then it's good for paint after that. And uh, so I'm going to soak this again with a can or two of this and then tomorrow I'll be ready for paint. It's looking pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's it was a flaky, rusty frame. Now it's nice black. But um, yeah, so I got this this clean up bit. This back cab corner is basically ready to be welded on there. Mini sin, she's done for the night. Amen. And um, I think it's ready. Amen. What do you think? You think that's ready? <laughs> you ready to go inside though, eh? That's a sure thing. She says, let's go. I'm done working. I quit. It's quitting time. Amen? Quitting time? <coughs> That's that quitting time look. Eh? Oh, yeah. It's quitting time, she says. Let's go. All right, so that's all soaked and uh, that rust converter now. And uh, by tomorrow, it'll be nice and black. It'll kind of change a bit more still. It looks pretty good now, but it'll look even better then. And then I'll go over it and, um, with my paint. I, I, I really, I would like to go with that uh, POR15, but uh, I'm really just kind of on a budget right now, just trying to get the truck back on the road. So I'm just going with the good old trim clad rust paint. And uh, it'll do the job. It's not really the perfect thing, but it'll work. It'll be a lot better than it was, that's for sure. I actually might have some of that POR, but if anything, I'll use it for the rockers where I'm more worried about it rusting again. Whereas the frame is pretty solid, I just kind of want to make it look good and help it a bit more, as best I can. But um, that's that for today. I'll come back tomorrow and I'll be ready for paint. Alright, so I'm uh, standing where the box should be on the truck. I'm going to start painting the frame. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this, get a good view. But... Oh, I got it. Okay. Sitting on the box in the truck. Alright, so... As I mentioned, you don't want to get... Main goal in here is to not get covered in the paint. Oh. A little way tomorrow I'll cover the paint, possibly what the hell. But uh that's where I'm going to put on here all fit. And then it's gonna be the rest of the time. Try and get in everywhere, all the little cracks and stuff. I sanded everything. So I'm cleaning up pretty good. I might even have to Get a can of spray paint and put one of the little nozzles on it, the little tip, little straw red tips or whatever, and uh, stick it in the frame and spray paint all in there as best they can do out here. Be cheap, but it should give it some good protection. I sprayed the rust converter inside as much as I could, anyways. I went with a semi gloss. I didn't want to go with the high gloss. It probably looked kind of weird. People would notice that it looked like a slug. Yeah, it wouldn't look very good, I don't think. But I did want it to be somewhat shiny. Give it a nice look. I think it'll look pretty good. Might as well get comfortable, I guess. We'll be here a bit. Oh. <laughs>
I'm thinking I'll probably get a can of uh, semi gloss trim clad to spray can just to get it in some spots I can't get. Alright, now at the top, top of the frame, inside zone, we move on to the passenger side here.
All right, so that's that. Um, you might be wondering, there's still the whole other half of the frame up front. Uh, I'm just doing this really because I have the box off. I probably will sand down the front of the frame and do it just from underneath. I don't think I'll pull the cab off, but um, I probably will end up doing that soon once I got all this done. But um, for now, this is looking great. I'm gonna get in there again tomorrow and uh, just get stuff that I couldn't get today. I'll, I'll probably even sand down the, the grind down the diff with the wire wheel go over that and paint that also and then um i still have the underside of everything i didn't do the underneath i'll I might do that once the, the box on i'm not sure but i'll, I'll do that after because i'll get it that it's like i won't be able to get this once the box on so i want to get it done now but um that's that for now uh, i'll show you the other side but uh everything's looking pretty good it, it will lose a bit of the gloss it has right now it's a little kind of too shiny right now for me but it does look good yeah i'll get uh spray cans and i'll spray in all these holes a whole bunch i don't know four or five cans or something like that and then uh, it should be coated pretty good. I'll also spraying down in the air, stuff like that, what, what not, little things I couldn't get at. And then uh, that should protect it a lot better than it was anyways. Oh, yeah.